Hi, my name is Arthur Polins and I am breathwork coach. This is a, a simple use of breathing and um, it's the first breathwork. What is breathwork? It's becoming aware of your breath and then changing it or influencing to create um, a desired outcome, desired state. And because breath, breathing is so fundamental to our body, it addresses our physiology on a basic level. And um, so it's, obviously you have heard a lot of people struggling with meditation and it's quite difficult to calm the mind by using the mind. So in this way we can calm the body first by accessing the, our, directly our central nervous system and, and then we can access the states we want. I see breathwork on a spectrum, you know, there's, uh, there's Wim Hof method which is probably one of the most popular ways of getting into breathwork and there's, uh, which is very much a, a powerful tool to access meditation on your own, a powerful practice for yourself combined with, with cold or not combined with cold, that's really effective technique to, to calm your mind. And it's not just one fix all and I, I try to get different tools with breathing, with mindfulness and uh, if it's necessary apply those specific tools for different situations with different clients and see what they need, if they need their breathing to be improved for everyday function like respiratory health or they need to calm down their mind or they need some help with falling asleep. So there's very different different approaches. I really believe in personal practice and that's what my intention is helping people to establish that personal practice. And they learn the techniques but oftentimes implementing them in your daily practice is probably the most important thing. Just to take five to ten minutes for yourself and check in because we so often are overstimulated by media, news, requests from friends. We're always on our phones. That could be breathing, that could be yoga, that could be meditation, but I really find consistency is the key in actually addressing your own mental health. One of the things that can happen is uh, we address the breathing patterns on its own. So oftentimes we, over the lifetime, we adapt uh, breathing patterns that are not necessarily most efficient. So for example, our primary breathing, we start breathing into upper chest and that's almost like a secondary part of our breathing and that's pretty much for reserve in situations where we're in a flight or fight always overstimulating our nervous system and we are can be const constantly in agitated state so by repatterning retraining ourselves to breathing patterns so then your nervous system is less overstimulated and you are more calm also build the ability to stay aware because I really feel there's a there's really different techniques to breathwork, but a really fundamental for everything is just breath awareness, because that's been practiced for thousands of years. Even meditation is just breath awareness, and that's the key skill to develop, but it's also quite a, it's a subtle skill that takes a long time. It takes, a, takes some time, it doesn't take a long time. So do brain, brains do change the brainwave states, and also through, through more intense breathing practice, like I, I really believe we can downregulate the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for our reasoning and for our ego, for our timekeeping, for logical thinking. And we can downregulate that so we access more of unconscious patterns and that can bring up new ideas, that can bring up emotions, that can be, bring up the memories and that leads to emotional integration. So this, there's other breathwork styles that also I use for, for form of therapy as well. It's interesting enough from, uh, from the group course I do, Breathwork Academy, a lot of people reported the same thing they reported their reaction times extended. So when they have a challenging situation, they don't react straight away, but they have slightly longer time to react. They don't, they're not as reactive. I think it would give us a little bit more compassion and sense of oneness. Because once you're in breath work, the sometimes after the sessions, you don't necessarily are so obsessed with small stuff you know once you get these peaceful moments when you're like just experiencing instead of being all in, in your brain and thinking and worrying and all in this together and some of those small things that we stress about that we possibly harm others with they're not that important so actually having those moments of mindful awareness can bring us a bit more compassion I really believe so